Welcome to the reaction review. Um, today I'm going to review the Yoko the Yoke, which is a control column for not that one, but Flight Simulator. Um, I'm coming from Flight Simulator oh, way back in the 80s uh, when this kind of stuff we had going. Um, now there were no joysticks back in the 80s, we had the keys for the keyboard. So it was uh, W for nose down, X for nose up, A for left and D for right and S for century the trimmer and plus and minus for throttle. So they were very basic back then, there was no need for joysticks. So I'm one of those people who have played Flight Sim since forever. Um, I've, had every, I've had every version of Microsoft uh, all over the years um, and I've had a few control columns, not too many. Uh, I'm getting an expensive one this time round, Yoko the Oak. So I've decided to do a quick review uh, for the re reaction review, and it will be a reaction because it hasn't arrived yet. So I begin by saying what I have first, okay? Uh, I've always had something like a cheap joystick, so something in the lines of this, okay? This is pretty much what your standard joystick would be, 20, 30 euros, probably 40. Now, all very well and good, I've had these kind of things for years. I have the Satec Cessna control yoke, uh, which is been fine for many years, okay? And they're about, I don't know, 200 euros at most. Um, and I've been perfectly happy with them. Uh, until recently, uh, a friend of mine uh, wanted me to set him up with a flight simulator, uh, P3D, X-Plane, all of that kind of stuff. So I showed him my kit with my with my Satec, and he said, Shane, I can't use this. This is driving me nuts. I just can't use it. Um, I thought I'd be quite happy with it. But his point was valid because he is a real, uh, real world pilot. Now so am I, but for me, the accuracy of the joystick isn't that important and I'll explain why shortly. Uh, he didn't like it for the following reason, okay? Um, well, I've always had this. I've used this on a laptop for practicing my procedures in real life flying for instant flying. Um, and it is difficult because you're keeping your altitude. And if you look here, if I put a pressure to the right, a constant pressure, it jerks. Now, it'd be easier on the desk, but you can see it's quite jerky. And then pitch two, okay? Uh, the Satec is the same kind of thing, but worse. Um, but why ha has this not bothered me? Well, it's harder for me to keep my altitude and headings, so I have to keep an eye uh, on my scan. So my scan gets really good when I get into the wheel aircraft, it's much, much easier. Um, so for me, I was happy with it. He said, he, this is ridiculous, I can't work with this at all. So he actually got Yoko the Yoko and he said it was the best thing he ever bought. And he practices procedures for his renewals and tests and so on and so forth. So I kind of toyed around with the idea as well uh, and I've ordered one. That's coming tomorrow. Um, now, the big thing about Yoko the Yoke, if you're looking at YouTube uh, and trying to find a yoke, is there's a massive difference in price. Yoko the Yoke. Uh, for me, it was 1,049 euros with delivery from Spain, with uh, FedEx. Now that's expensive for what some people would call a toy. Well, actually, it's not a toy. Uh, it's used for drones, uh, it's used for professional flight simulators, and that's why it's so expensive, because it doesn't have this kind of jerkiness in the joystick or the control column. Now, the Satec control column I've had for years is fine. If you're just a simmer and you want something for Christmas or just to have the yoke itself, it's fine. I've been happy for years. If you're a hardcore simmer, well, and if you have the money, um, yeah, Yoko the Yoke would be uh, a good bet, I would imagine. I haven't got it yet, but let's see how that turns out. Now, there are other ones out there. Um, the other one I wanted to get was the uh, Go Flight 737 control column. Um, and it's been quite a few tries. I tried last year, out of stock. I tried again a few months later, out of stock. I tried again now recently, can't get it, okay? I don't know what's going on there, but I found it quite frustrating. I would have bought the GoFly 737 Yoke by now, if they had it in stock. Uh, I emailed them, they came back saying, well, uh, yes, our website has been down, which it was for about a week, almost a week. 
uh, and I thought they went out of business. So I got a hold of them eventually and they said, well, due to certain parts we are unable to obtain, uh, we will have them back again soon, but we don't know when, okay? Now I noticed a lot of their stuff there is, is, is gone. It's not on their website anymore. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I couldn't get a hold of one, so I got a Yoko the Yoko. Now they say Yoko the Yoko, Yoko the Yoko is one of the better ones because it has a lot of throw in the control column. Now this throw for elevator is, is maybe, I don't know yet, I'll, I'll show you tomorrow, but there's not a lot in it. It doesn't matter if there's a lot in it or not. Same with the Saitec. There's not a lot of throw. There is right and left on the ailerons, but there isn't on the elevator. That doesn't matter. You will never fly an airplane like this anyway. Um, I know this, okay? So maybe some other time uh, if I get to go flight. But for the moment, uh, people are saying that Yoko the Yoke is one of the better ones. So what are you looking for in a control column? Well, sensitivity. Uh, sensitivity. Uh, I'll probably clip over now to a video I made early uh, earlier on to see what the throw is in the Saitec. So it's the only comparison I have. Now I know the price difference is huge. But as you'll see, when you move the Saitec control column forward and back, there's a massive null zone there. Um, and there is jerkiness as well. As I'm applying a constant pressure, even with both hands, but you're always flying with one hand anyway, because you need your other hand free for, for other um, tasks. But I did find the Saitec and other cheaper ones, especially the CH control kind, that's an absolute disaster I found, unless they have a manure one out there. But there is jerkiness there, um, certainly very much in pitch. The throw, as in applying back pressure and forward, full deflection of the elevator, isn't actually a lot. And I never really noticed that, and it's no big deal. Um, because you'll never fly an airplane with more than a few inches anyway, and if you are using full deflection, there's something going on very wrong in the cockpit. So yeah, I, I just thought I'd get it out, I connected it up. Uh, and I, you know, I flew uh, an aircraft there with a Garmin 1000, and yeah, it's hard to, to keep your attitude. You've got to constantly make little adjustments, and it's jerky. But for the average gamer, and the average person who wants to play flight sim, it's fantastic, and it's cheap enough. So, uh, yoke of the yoke. Um, I'll get it tomorrow. Okay, uh, I actually ordered it last Thursday, and now it's going to arrive on Tuesday. So. Not bad from Spain, and I have to say, uh, the guys in, in, in Virtual Fly, in Yoke the Yoke, uh, they're really helpful. I, I wanted to make sure they had it in stock uh, because I was worried that if I ordered it, they might say, uh, they might take my money and say, Oh, we'll be ready in six weeks for you, and I didn't want to wait six weeks. So I emailed them, he emailed me back. Uh, I tried to ring them, and I said an email I couldn't get through. Uh, and a chap called David rang my phone, and I was busy in the, in the flight school. Uh, he rang my phone several times to make sure he got through to me. He got through to me, I rang him back, and he was really, really helpful. So I feel quite safe with Virtual Fly. They have some great, good, really good stuff as well. So if anybody wants to review stuff, me to review other things, I'd be more happy to do it um, if I get the stuff in, if I have the money to buy it. Um, so, yoke of the yoke. Okay, so um, also I'm thinking, and we're going to move on now to, to the rest when the, when the yoke of the yoke arrives, and I do a comparison, or well, not a comparison, but a review, and see what my reaction is, because this is the reaction review. Um, so if anyone else is interested after watching the rest of the, my reaction, um, I might do some other reviews on actual aircraft on, on more modern flight simulators, obviously. Um, I have flown a small amount of light aircraft, uh, I could do reviews on those, so if anyone wants to, uh, anyone wants to have a review on something that's the comparison between the simulator and, and reality, I've flown a few aircraft, such as the uh, Diamond DA42, the Cessna 150, the Cessna 172, the Cessna 152, the Aztec B, the Albatross L39C, the Cetabria, the Cherokee. I have to read my list here: the Cherokee single engine, the Havilland Dove, the Navajo, the PA28161, the PA28 uh, or the Rally, Calibre Rally, Seneca 2 Piper Cup, TB9, uh, the Waco, uh, Xair, a few other aircraft, and the latest one is the Technum P2006T. So, uh, flight sim's great these days because you can get all these aircraft um, online and they're really, really good. Um, so, okay, so let's wait for tomorrow. Um, and we'll see what my reaction is. I'll do a, a, an unboxing very quickly. I don't really get unboxings, but I'll do one anyway. Uh, and hopefully, um, 
it will be a positive review because I spent a lot of money on it. So see you in about, well, a few, 0.8 of a second. For me, it'll be a couple of hours of waiting. Okay. It's arrived. It has arrived. <laughs> okay, it has arrived. Um, <clears throat> you're probably wondering why there's two boxes there. Well, guess what? I got the uh, TQ6 um, control quadrant from uh, Virtual Fly. Uh, so I'll put that in the next video. Uh, the big box, of course, is Yoko the Yoke. So I'll try and do a quick unboxing. It's going to be quite difficult because I have to hand hold my camera and I've no fancy camera equipment. So uh, I'll cut and clip and we'll see how we go very quickly. Okay, here we go. Uh, I'll do this It's heavy. It's nine pounds. I'm gonna have to get up with one hand there. Ugh. Okay, let's put it on the table. Reversing it there. Um, now I'm going to have to sit right back here, okay? So let's see how we go. Do you know what? Just while I'm here, okay? Look at these little tiny inches in front of back. Look. Okay, we'll look at that later. It's interesting straight away. I'm just gonna fasten the clamp. Now the clamp may come loose, I'm told, okay? But you can get Velcro, and I've did the, I've done this with the side tack, and I put it on the back, you know, just two strips and it works fine. But we'll see how we go. But look how sensitive that is. Let me just reverse here a little bit. Look how sensitive that is. And then pitch. It's almost exact. It's exact. Look at that. Look at that. I'm impressed so far. Okay, so let's uh, put some power on. Where am I looking? Down here. I know, I haven't got the throttle quadrant yet. I'll put it on later. Full power, face forward, and hit the B button for brakes. Off, and here we go. Okay. Gonna apply back pressure. It's not fast enough. I know I'm making a hand, but it's, it's difficult when you're just 71 knots. I should be taking off on there. Oh, it's pitch not working. What's going on here? Okay, now in the Technum, it's about here for 80 knots, about 15 degrees. I'm going to change hands. Whoops, down it goes because I haven't got it trimmed. Up we go to 10 degrees. Just have a look there. I'm going to go back up to. Uh, I'm just going to fly it around right now. It's really sensitive using the trimmer. Well, the trimmer's good, I like that. The trimmer button is quite good. It's like the real thing. But it really is very sensitive. It really is. Um, and I think this is going to improve speed a lot. This is not jerky at all. Okay, it really is a jerky. I'm going to level off here. I know I'm going to full power. I just tested the joystick. So it really is quite sensitive. And that's what I want. Trimmer's, trimmer button's working really well. Oh, 2,000 feet there. I just kick them down. But it's really a big difference. I mean, I'm making the tiniest of movements here. 
control column. I'm just gonna start to cruise here because this is gonna be ridiculous. And over speed, I think it's gonna be good. And there she do it. Okay, so again from you. Um but this is really very accurate. I mean the little touches look look at the difference between my control look here look that is what I'm talking about do you know see I'm just easily uh, just very gently coercing the control column uh, a little bit of back pressure you see how sensitive that is I mean this is all you need this is when you're really flying this is it when you're flying manually it's very sensitive now I'm chatting away, I'm holding my phone from my right hand, we're not particularly concentrating on, on the, the flying, but it's so, so there's no null zone at all. Okay, at all. So if you're a flight simmer, uh, and I reckon um, you want something more accurate, look at this. Little tiny movements are working. That's what I'm talking about. But that's just my, my my reaction. My reaction is positive. Okay. My reaction, and I'm enjoying this. Let's keep my hand here now just so you can see the screen. That's a bit better there now. So I'm going to climb a little bit, raise the nose a tad. So I'm impressed. Now I don't have my hand to the throttle to get just the throttles or not trimming or anything like that. So uh, the trim is nice. There we go. You don't need force feedback. Some people say, oh, I'll get a force feedback. You don't need a force feedback. If you need a force feedback, you shouldn't be flying. There you go. So yeah, I'm 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 happy. It's it's uh, really is very good. X plane course is fantastic. I might do a review on the the Technum, uh, the Technum twin here, um, seeing as I have it here. And actually, what I didn't say is I'm setting this up uh, to show a friend of mine who got a Technum um, to show him IR stuff before he does his training, just to make it easy for him. What a hold is, how to do a procedure, your minimums, etc., etc. Do ILSs and all that kind of thing. And this is why I got this control column uh, to train uh, students. Uh, you know, what is a hold? How do you do a hold? For, you know, uh, procedures for coming into airports, landing with no visibility whatsoever uh, until a few hundred feet. And I can show this to people with this control column. Uh, and this is really why I bought it. It's kind of, yeah, it's for myself, um, but because uh, I like my gadgets but this is really good I'm just finessing this here with such small movements and that's reality that's how it works in reality uh, not this chunkiness like in the SATEC or cheaper joysticks and I'm not putting down the SATEC by the way I've had that for years as I keep saying and I've been very very happy with it but for, for professional stuff I want to train someone with the Garmin 1000 in IR all of this stuff works in uh, all of this stuff works in, in X-Play and it's absolutely brilliant so so it keeps me busy in the winter uh, and I'm happy with that so as I'm talking to you here I'm kind of half concentrating what I'm doing um, keeping my altitude uh, and it's just zero there I mean look it's been like this for ages now okay uh, it's not gonna be for long if I keep holding my right arm up but you know that is it that, that is what I wanted and that is what I'm getting uh, and just tiny finesses on the control column so if you're looking for realism uh, guys, Yoko the Oak. Um, yeah, if you have the money, get it. Okay, I'm really impressed here. I'm gonna have great fun with this. I'm really gonna start using flights and again now, and I'm gonna do lots of reviews because this is a joy. You know, this is an absolute joy. I'm just turning here, you can just see the camera with uh Give me all its bits and pieces, and this is a joy. I mean, I don't have to think. I'm still perfectly level. Go down to my heading here. Uh, now I can train the Garmin 1000 without very expensive equipment at the same quality uh, and earn some money from it hopefully um, so this is just superb absolutely superb uh, now the throw on this let's have a look okay the airplane's going to go all over the place the throw is big it's quite large probably three or four times more than the SATEC um, but that's fine uh, the 73, if you have a 737, the throw actually in the real aircraft is very, very large. I was quite surprised when I was in the simulator, in a proper simulator in Southampton. I was very surprised at the throw in the 737s, it really was. And, and that's good for me, I'm happy, so 737 is to be realistic as well. Um, so what more can I say that I'm absolutely delighted with my very expensive purchase. Um, 
I'll come back to you to say say uh, what I'm going to do next. And we shall see you later. Uh, oh, I didn't really ex explain to myself, or <laughs> I didn't explain the quality the last time. I didn't mention the quality. So let it keep flying there. Um, I have my keyboard on top. Okay, it's all metal. The whole thing is all metal. Very firm. Um, and it's chunky. Uh, it's all metal here. And you feel like you're flying a real airplane. The control column, I really enjoy this. Uh, although I know it's simple and I wanted the 737 one because it looks cool, but who knows? I mean, look at this. If I turn around here, there's little screws you can take off the yoke uh, and replace it with another one. Maybe Yoko, Yoko will come out with, uh, who knows, with, with, with uh, 77. But as for me, as a professional pilot, uh, and to train people to do IFR stuff, and indeed for me, for my renewals, when I have to do, do a test every year, uh, I can use this. Now, you don't have to have this. As I said, you can use a clunky joystick and it makes it more difficult to the simulator. And if you get the simulator right, your actual real flying, flying would be much better. Um, so it's fantastic uh, for that. So that's Yoko the Yoke. Uh, and uh, I'll come back to finish off. So there you have it. I'm very impressed. It's pretty damn good. Uh, a few little things that I didn't mention. I actually went quiet. Uh, a little bit there in that last piece. Um, I just couldn't believe that it was so sensitive. I, I just was going, is this me or is it what's going on? But it really is good. I mean, you know, it's fantastic. It's very heavy. Look, that isn't even clamped to the desk, okay? So it's quite heavy, so you won't have any problems with this coming off the desk. Um, it's really, really good, and I would give it the thumbs up, okay? It's the best one I've ever had. I can say that straight away at the door. For realism, absolutely. Uh, very much so for realism. It's a sensitivity, it brings the whole thing, the whole immersive, uh, immersiveness of the whole flight sim experience, hobby, to life. Uh, all these little things make all the difference. Um, so yes, Yoke of the Yoke, um, was it a good buy for me? Yeah, absolutely, it certainly was. Expensive, but what are you gonna do? There's a huge gap between the likes of the SeaTech uh, and, and more modern, well, not more modern, but more, well, they are modern, they're more sophisticated, certainly, and they're more real. Uh, so if you want realism and if you're a pilot and you want to practice your stuff or if you're training 150 or whatever it is if you have the money all the better but as i said this kind of stuff makes your real flying better because it's harder with this okay it's harder with this so yeah that's uh, my my uh, reaction uh, do leave a comment by the way uh, do leave a comment if you want to see uh, any other demos uh, or anything like that especially if you want to see uh, the difference between the real aircraft uh, from the list I showed earlier on and the flight simulator, okay? Uh, so do leave comments, please. Um, okay, so that's it. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I'm very happy with the other one. Ooh, did I just drop my SATEC? Oh. Next time, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs>